Hey you guys, I'm gonna teach you how to make a quick beet salad, so stay tuned. But before we get into this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you to all my new subscribers and to my old subscribers who have been here for a while. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? About to get into it. Let's not wait, come on, this is too good to keep. Hey you guys, it's the girl Katura and I'm back with another video. And this is just gonna be a quick video on how I make my beetroot salad. Um, I have a video about beets and the benefits, so if you haven't watched that, please check that out. But a lot of you guys are visual learners. I know that I am, and I feel like it pays off to see. I wanna see what that beetroot salad looks like, and maybe I'll want it. So first of all, you're gonna have beets, an orange, and a ginger. Three ingredients, that's it, okay? Um, get you a bowl, grater, and peeler, potato peeler, fruit peeler, whatever you guys wanna call it. Okay, so I have my orange here. Oh, I should have my cutting board. Sorry, guys. Okay. So, I'm gonna put that there. And we're just gonna prep work, okay? And while I prep work, you guys know, um, if you don't know, the benefits to beets. I just think about it as um, a, tra a blood transfusion, okay? So, beets, B for blood, B for beets, beets are red, blood is red. That's how I think about it all the time. And true story, um, I was in the hospital um, not too long ago for around, let's December, um, like mid-December, I had come back from New York. Um, so I went to New York December 9th, came back and I had COVID, um, I had pneumonia, and it was just a really bad experience. And I remember them telling me each day that my hemoglobin was dropping, dropping, you know, and I was holding off on getting a blood transfusion because one of my doctors a long time ago, Dr. Lautenberg, great man, always told me do not be quick just to get a blood transfusion. It goes below a 6.5, like around, you know, even at 5.7, we were holding on 5.6, 5.5, 5.4, but I believe when they came in, they said it was like 5.1. And me and my mom were like, okay, no, because it's never been, not that it's never been that low, but you know, it was a, it was a, it was a scary time. Cause I hadn't had a blood transfusion in years, okay? Hadn't had an acute chest in years since I was a little girl. I was out of the hospital for two years, um, you know, prior to me catching this COVID on this trip. So anyways, with that being said, I remember my mom being like, okay, I'm gonna run out and go get some beet juice and we're gonna see if that helps. And it definitely did help bring up my hemoglobin, not to the point where unfortunately I still needed that, um, I still needed to get blood, the blood at chain fusion, just to help me out. But I'm saying that put me in a better position. And while I'm home, I get back on my, you know, my healthy journey and I just get back to it. And I drink it three times out of the week, or at least I try to. And, you know, just use it as a holistic approach to having um, a blood at chain fusion at my house for myself. And it's really good for you, whether you have sickle cell or not eating healthy and having these beets are really, really good for you. So, you know, I'm gonna finish this right here. Face to the fun part, now we're gonna make everything. So I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna grate in my beets. Now, I should have my apron on because I know the splash back. I know better. I have my apron on guys, I'm like, no way, okay? So, if you're working with beets, have on an outfit you don't care about or an apron. All right, now I can really get into it. Okay guys, so this is what it looks like, bam. And we're gonna grate some ginger for spice and ginger's really good, all this stuff is really good for inflammation and so you know with sickle cell that's what happens and even with old age y'all i'm just turning 30. so if you're achy you have arteritis this is really good for you too my mom loves things like this okay it's just healthy eats fresh 
good food. Okay, whoa. <laughs> so the ginger's in there. I'm not wasting none of my ginger. Hmm. And then I'm gonna squeeze my orange. This orange is juicy, y'all. Oh my gosh. Now, if your orange is big and juicy like this, you're only gonna need the one half. Um, there we go. Okay. I need a spoon. Okay, and I'm just gonna mix that in. Now, I like my beef to be cold, and they're already pretty cold from the fridge, but I'm gonna put it back in the fridge again. But before I do, we're gonna taste it. Let's see. You guys, the ginger, the orange, the beets. Quick, simple, easy. You can juice your beets, you can roast it, or you can make a quick little salad right here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll have more coming to show you different ways to do beets. Take care. I love you guys.